Hey guys, let's see what we are going to solve in this video. I'll just read the problem. The table shows the postage rates for parcels to foreign countries. This table, yeah. I just wrote it down because it is kind of going to take a long time. That's why, right? Now the question one is, what is the postage rate for the parcels weighing 0 0.125 kg, kilogram? Question B is, Mr. Ku wants to send three parcels of 0 0.07 kilograms and two parcels of 200 grams and a parcel of 0 0.43 kilogram to his customers overseas. How much does he need to pay for postage in all? Right? So these are the two questions that we are going to answer here. Now, right? let's uh, let's let's write down <clears throat> what is given in the problem right but we will convert that into grams first why see in this table everything is given in grams right so we will convert everything into grams all the numbers that is given right first it is given 0 0.125 kilograms so we need to convert that into grams first. So how do we do that? 0 0.125 times 1000, right? 1000 grams is one kilogram, right? So we just multiply. In this case, it will become 125 grams, right? The second value is 0 0.075 kilogram. 0 0.075 kilogram, which is going to become 0 0.075 times 1000 equals to 75 grams and the third one that is given in kilogram is uh, 0 0.43 kilo kilograms 0 0.43 kilograms which is going to become 0 0.43 times 1000 is equals to 430 grams yeah got it right so we have converted that to become grams and there is a fourth value which is actually given in grams itself right so this is what is given in the problem one two three and then four right this is what is given in the problem we have just converted that into grams so that it can match the table right so question one question one is right what is the postage rate for parcels weighing 0 0.125 kilograms right so 0 0.125 kilograms right which is 125 grams right see in any in any uh, post office or office something like that right post office or any office some um, similar to post office what you will find is you will always find standard rates only right what it means is that they will charge you based on 80 grams, 120 grams, 150 grams, 250 grams, 300 and 500 grams. What it means is that in between any values, right, they don't consider. If it falls under like 90 grams, which is more than 80 but less than 120, they will just go for, because it is over 80 already, they will take the next value right which is 120 gram even though you sent only 90 grams they can only go for the next one which is 120 that's the standard weight that they they charge against any any parcel yeah so to make the calculations easier right so that is why the standard table is always given in any places if you go to post office you will find it yeah okay so based on this table 125 grams right to send 0 0.125 kilogram right how much um, how much you need to pay what is the postage rate there is no one sending but we need to find the postage rate so 125 gram is more than 120 but less than 150 right it comes here so we can you can write one more step also which is right which is like uh, 120 it is more than 120 125 but less than 150 right so so 150 grams charge 
applies which is equals to how much three dollar three dollar eighty cent which is answer one is three dollar eighty cent you got the story right see anything that is in between will just go for the next next available standard price right the 125 is between 120 and 150 but it is more than 120 that's why they will charge for the 150 grams rate got it right so answer one we have found it got it so now question two question in question two he is sending three different parcels right the first parcel is mr ku is sending three parcels which is weighing 0 0.075 kilograms so one is three parcels of 0 0.075 which is equals to z3 times 75 grams right we converted that here 75 grams right that one will be 75 is less than 80 so up to 80 0 to 80 they will charge the 80 grams price which is two dollars fifty cents so which becomes three times two dollars fifty cents equals to how much seven dollars fifty cents right seven dollars fifty cents now the second one it says that how much two parcels of 200 grams so which is we it is directly given in grams so this step we don't need to do he directly goes here two times 200 grams which is equals to two times 200 falls where between 150 and 250 but it is greater than 150 so we have to go for the 250 uh, 250 grams charge which is four dollar fifty cent two two times four dollars fifty cent which is equals to how much nine dollars right nine dollars right now the third one is third one is he wants to send one parcel a parcel which is 0 0.43 kilograms right one times 0 0.43 equals to one times four three it's 430 grams right 430 grams so but for the for the 430 how much it how much uh, it becomes so you have to put this sign so that you are not actually saying this one is equals to this one from here it implies from here this is what you get that's what it means right so you don't put just equal you just put the arrow symbol as well so from here it becomes one times for 450 it is more than 300 but less than 500 grams right so one time so we have to go for the 500 grams charge which is eight dollars so which is one times eight dollars equals to eight dollars right so he wants to find i mean we need to find how much will be the charge for all the three right so total charge total charge equals to we just need to add all of them together dollar seven dollars fifty cents plus dollar nine nine dollars plus eight dollars eight dollars which becomes how much how much how much quick quick twenty twenty four dollars and fifty cents so answer two answer two is how much twenty four dollars and fifty cents easy guys so you just need to have some understanding how this table works that's all and it will be very easy to answer this sort of questions right great okay right, so if you have any questions leave your comments in the comment box of this video and um, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel yeah